What is up Shade Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. I know, I know, I said I was going to start vlogging. Like I said, it's hard to get into habit, but I'm making a goal. I am making a goal that I am going to post a video for 20 days. That's my goal. They say if you do something for 20 days every single day, it will start turning into a habit of you doing that. So maybe vlogging every single day for 20 days, maybe I'll actually end up getting back into the grind of uploading a video. I actually end up ordering me a binder, not like a book binder, but like a binder for your chest as I'm wearing it right now. And it looks like I'm flat chested. Today is a beautiful day and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna pick up the camera and I'm just gonna record. I don't know what I'm gonna record, but I'm gonna record something. I re-dyed my hair blue and it's getting really long. Like I could shake my hair and it moves. Like it's so awesome. I think this is the longest I've had my hair for a really long time. But it's such a nice day. And tomorrow I have to go to Athens, Ohio. As you guys know, I'm also gonna try to start testosterone and start on my journey of becoming who I'm supposed to be. And I know I have a couple of haters that dislike me doing this, but you know, it's my life. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch my videos, you don't have to agree with anything, but imagine if you're a guy and you just end up having boobs. You wouldn't like it, you would make, it would make you feel so uncomfortable. That is basically how I feel. Now, for the women, if you're a girl, imagine you're a girl and you end up having a penis. It would make you feel uncomfortable because you are a girl, but you have a penis. Don't judge someone because you don't understand. You got to actually think of how that person's feeling, what causes, you know, all that. And I don't know what causes it, but I'm pretty sure I was born in the wrong body. Is this wet? Okay, it's dry. But not everybody is going to understand us transgenders and nobody is going to accept it the only thing we can do is just continue to live our life the way we want to live and people are going to judge no matter what you do i could be doing the best thing in the world to be helping thousands and thousands of people and people would sit there and judge someone will be judging you because you're doing something right and they don't like it Meow. Meow. Where are you coming from? Meow. 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 Who's meowing? What? Meow. Oh, it's you. Are you hairless? Hi, hairless. Yeah, it's you. It's hairless. What are you doing, hairless? You know, you want attention, but you won't let me pet you. What are you doing, hairless? What are you meowing at? What's up there? Huh? Like I said, everybody's going to judge something that you're doing. So just live your life. Do what you want to do. And if somebody hates it, oh well. Just do you. I have all my crystals on. I even have a crystal in my pocket this crystal I'm just carrying around maybe it'll help me be in a better mood I've been taking my medication so that's a good thing but I'm also really nervous about tomorrow because one anxiety <laughs> two it's just it's basically a start of a journey but the only issue is the place that I'm going doesn't accept my medical card and we called all kinds of other places and it turns out they don't accept my medical card either. So I'm going to have to do all of this out of pocket, do the best I can, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. And if I do get my own place and paying rent and bills and all of that, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go through this whole journey. A lot of people are transgender, but don't have the money to do what they want to do. So they're living their life so unhappy and they hate their lives and that's why so many people commit suicide. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go to my appointment tomorrow and see maybe they could tell me like what 
I could possibly do if they could set up a payment plan or something. I don't know. But I know I'll probably have to go to a therapist for at least almost a year before I can actually start testosterone, which sucks. I wish they could just go to the doctor and they'd be like, oh, here you go. Here's your prescription of testosterone. I wish it was that easy, but it's not. You have to go through therapy, which is the same as like if someone goes through weight loss surgery and they have to go through hair therapy. Speaking of weight loss surgery, Jen is actually thinking about doing weight loss surgery. We're gonna have so many things going on, but most of all, I'm still looking for a place it's hard to find a place that I can actually afford. It's just hard. I don't know what I'm gonna have going on today, but I'm gonna record whatever I can. I'm just gonna pick up the camera and I'm just gonna record everything. Everything that's going on, I'm just gonna record it. Hopefully it turns out to be a good vlog or interesting vlog for you guys, but you know, we gotta start somewhere. That's how I did when I first started vlogging. That's what I don't understand. How did I start vlogging when I first started vlogging? Like, I know I picked up a phone and started recording everything but it was like it was so new to me I didn't know what the crap I was doing at all I didn't know what to do what to say or anything but I did it for a whole year a whole year for every single day I did it for a whole year and then I just I don't know what happened I just stopped and got off my routine and now I'm like how do I start a vlog how do I start a vlog why can't I do it now? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna record everything. Unless it's something personal, then I can't really record it. But just choking on my own air. That's nice. Let's get this day started. I see Taz finally actually wanted to come outside instead of staying in the house all day. Yeah, Taz. You enjoying the sun? Yeah, you enjoying the sun? You are? Yeah. You enjoying the sun? You need to. You're always in the house. Sneezing and everything. Yeah. Lay out in the sun. Enjoying the sun. What are you doing, hairless? Or are you hairless? Or are you hairy? Who are you? Are you hairy? Well, you're running from me, so you have to be hairy. Hi, Harry. I think Jen is still asleep. Of course. I put my hair up. It's hair not all up. the same length, so I have to put these little clips in my hair. It's not all the same length, so I have to put these little clips in my hair. Who's the one hating now? <laughs> you still stop. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just doing this, and she's like. Ew! <laughs> Disgusting. Look what your hair did. The blue tit. Yeah. Like, what's Milo doing? Aw, Milo. He's so pretty. Yeah, Milo's so pretty. Look at those eyes. I'll get your butt. I'll get your butt. That's a good boy. Jen ended up getting these yesterday. They're meatless veggie nuggets. So we're gonna try them and see how they taste. They're supposed to be just like regular chicken nuggets, but they're just meatless. They have vegetables in them. Oh, uh, and they have vegetables inside of them. They smell really good. I know, they smell just like chicken nuggets. That's what I have right now, and I smell it, and I can smell it, and it smells so good. It's only 160 calories and about seven, about four pieces. 160 calories ain't bad. Mm. Cheese. 
I got like three packages of string cheese yesterday. Look at that face. Look, turn the camera to her. <laughs> Have the string cheese. Oh, get me another one. <laughs> I'm dying for Venom or Pepsi. What? I only have three out of these packages. This is what the chicken nuggets look like. Well, veggie nuggets, basically. They don't smell like chicken nuggets. They're really hot. It's weird because it actually tastes like a chicken nugget but with vegetables in it. <laughs> I swear I just went through all the kinds of emotions right then. Like within a second. You want a car Yeah. I know uh, what I'm going back to get more of. It tastes like chicken. So Bill comes up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays. That's his routine. Today is technically Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday, obviously. Well, Bill came up, and he always calls mom when he makes it back. He well, never did that. Thing he said was that call you when you're home. Yeah, that's what he always says when he leaves, and he always ends up calling. Well, well, he left, and he said, I'll call you when I make it there, like he always does, and he always ends up calling all the time. Never misses it. Except for last night, he never called. His phone's been off. His son, we had his son go over there. He said the car was in the parking lot, but there was no lights in the apartment. Well, now we get to maybe go and check on Bill unless he calls from here to now. We're getting ready now. Well, I'm the first one in the car waiting on everyone else. As Jen said, we're gonna go check on Bill because he still hasn't called. Either he's just asleep and he was just so tired that he didn't call anyone. What if Bill just like went missing? Someone like just kidnapped Bill. I mean, that could actually happen. Why would someone want to kidnap Bill? And Ironton. Ironton, you really don't hear anything bad happening. I guess we'll find out when we get there. As if he doesn't call by the time we get up there. He always puts his phone on charge. He always charges his phone. As soon as he gets home, he always calls Kathy. And before he goes to bed, he always calls Kathy. He didn't do neither of those. And his phone is dead. So, who knows? I guess we'll see when we get there. Then what we know, his car is here. There's Bill's car, so his car is here. He's in a habit of turning his phone off and charging. Blue one. I see it in the reflection. I don't know where it's at. It's a voicemail. Can't help it. See? There's like a whole thing going on over here. Like there was cop cars and everything. As I climb up on the sl slide, they message saying, they're leaving. Woo. There's not much at this park here in Ironton. Like there, there was swings, but now the swings are gone. I don't know what this is supposed to be for. But when I was walking here, there was, it was so loud. Of, there was like six cops, two ambulance, a fire truck. And it all was like right in front of me, and I'm like, whoa, what was going on? So I was sitting there being nosy, basically, because I wanted to know what was going on. And it was all kinds of people crowded around, so I didn't get to record anything. I should have, though. They're leaving now, so I'm walking back. Remember I told you guys I was actually trying to plan on getting a place here in Ironton at these little tiny apartment buildings? These ones right here. I turned in my application. I haven't had, I haven't heard nothing. And it's been, I think, three months now? Maybe two. I don't know. Either has Kathy, because Kathy signed up for these apartments as well. Nobody has heard anything. And we try calling them and they just give us the, like, the run around, whatever. There they are. So where are we headed to? Cocoa butter. To cocoa butter? Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go to Kokomo. Kokomo, oh my gosh. Isn't that an island? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I wish we were actually saying we were going there. <laughs> One day we'll say that we're going to Bora Bora. It's only $5,000 for a trip. Only $5,000? <laughs> Let me just pull $5,000 out and we'll go to Bora Bora. Well, She's right only five thousand dollars. Right now, we can't go to Bora Bora because we're Bora Bora. But one day we're gonna go to Bora Bora when we're Richie Rich. <laughs> Soon, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about sweetheart. Don't worry about. It. That's my new house right there. It would be so cute to live in something like I that. I like how this church looks. Bill is coming over here to Boost Mobile to see what's wrong with his phone. But I seen his church and it looks pretty cool. Can't really see it because of the sun. But like how it is, Presbyterian Church. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Whoa, organized June 11th. That's my birthday. 1819. Top of my hair came undone where I had the clip and I couldn't get it fixed. So I just had to put my hair on top. I look goofy looking. Oh well. I can't believe my hair is this long, guys. So I'm sitting outside the Boost Mobile store because the lady finally came back and Everybody doesn't have a mask on, but I didn't feel like going inside without a mask because it just makes me feel uncomfortable. Oh, what are those? They look like little, like, balls. Oh, what they are. Oh, they look like little apples. They feel fake. Oh, look at these. Oh, it's so pretty. So I take pictures all the time. I try to post everything on my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on my Instagram, it's down below. Follow me. I'll, I'm going to try to follow everybody back. Oh, I like that color blue. I think that's the color of my hair, isn't it? Is that the same? Is that what was on this time? So all he had to do was network reset instead of factory reset. It's just resetting the network, like the service, basically. If you guys go through Boost Mobile and your phone just happens to not want to send out through texts or calls, that's what you had to do for your phone. I don't know if it's just Boost Mobile. It might be other phones too. But I don't know. Mine's never done that. No, so it has to. Maybe it is Boost Mobile or something. Real Wally World. The first wasp that I've seen. So what are we coming here for? Stuff. Smart ass. Look, show them. Oh, there's Kathy's bruise. Cause she fell. Yeah, she fell backwards. We were carrying this uh, Christmas tree box outside so we put it up. And she <laughs> fell backwards and tripped over a yes. cinder block, busted a pane of glass, <laughs> got a bruise. Bronze or not bronze? Shine so killer, hydro angel reel. These things are really wet. Do you know what this is? I don't know. It's really wet. Oh, oh. It took me off camera. I was on camera and then it went away. Wait. Hold on. That's a lot closer. Fine, it doesn't want me on camera. Am I just invisible? It's not, I'm invisible. Hello. I'm just invisible. That's my life. You know who made these? An elf. Elves. Company has the lasting lipstick on the seat. Look, they get it's you. It's because you're further back. I walked up to it and it's still with it. Once you go here, it kind of cuts your head off. See, mom's still back here, so I ain't gonna go off. There you go. Look at this. So I was just like invisible to this camera. Hey. Uh, Jen fixed my hair and then instead of it sitting directly on top of my head. You see how big these eyelashes are, right? Well, look at this one. These are just little tiny eyelashes. Wouldn't that be a lot harder of just sticking one by one by one? Wouldn't it be easier to stick to one big one? girls products I'll never understand. You're a girl so let me ask you. See how these big eyelashes are. You put them all at once on. Right? No. 
Yeah, you. it's one big piece. Oh, yeah? What is the point of one little tiny because piece? Because you piece? have a bald spot. That or you fill them in. Oh. I thought you meant like you put all of these on at once and I was just like, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, you put that many eyelashes on. <laughs> That's what I thought you meant and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> or something, see? See how these have spaces? Yeah. You can take them and fill them in. Oh. They've got a, a thing and these are it. also, these are extensions to put on top of your regular eyelash because these are like false ones. These you just add them to your regular ones. Granted, these are the same things. I don't even know. I don't do eyelashes. Look how thick they are. They've got an eyelash curler out now that you put the top one on and the bottom one on for the top thing and you just squeeze it on and it just like you curl curling your eyelashes. This is my dinner plate. Oh, it's just like one of those fancy things that people put in cakes and you just like open it up like, oh, hello. Oh, they're wooden. Others are cute. Oh, look at this cute little butter dish. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, salt and pepper. Oh, oh my gosh. I love this. This too, it goes with like a coffee look. Yeah, that reminds me of like coffee. Oh, look at those. Those are cool. Look at that bowl. I left my camera at the house, so I have to vlog from my iPhone. What? It's always something. <laughs> I forgot the camera. Here at Gino's, I'm gonna get some food. We're talking about weight loss and shit. Yeah, we're fucking Gino's. <laughs> forgot my look. camera, and I'm supposed to be vlogging. You all saw them. Gotta put on my ass on. Put their shoes. Nah. Just toss them up there. I've always wanted to do that. Just toss shoes up on a tree. Found the receipt, the car, and the penny on the plaza. Smell. It smells, it smells good. Oh! Ew! Mm. What? <laughs> You're a grace child. How's it taste? Like dirt. So. I forgot to record. I just got a hot ham and cheese sandwich. Jen. What was it? Uh, I got the camera back. I'm gonna go walk down the road because there was these flowers I really wanted to get a picture of. So these are the flowers. See, so here's the big field. And their flowers is randomly growing in these little areas. So I wanted to try to get over to one and take some pictures of it. But it's so weird how they're located in the woods instead of out here in the field. They're not fully bloomed, it doesn't look like, but they're trying to. I don't think they were here last year. Oh, it looks like there's one that's fully bloomed right there. Is that a ball? Oh, that is a ball. I thought it was a bouncy ball. But look, this one is fully bloomed. Oh my God. Let me get around the others. Hey little guys. You're so pretty. Grab some photos of them and now I have to head home because it's starting to get dark. I actually am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure to turn my post notifications on so you never miss a new video. Make sure to stay positive and never give up.